I'm afraid it will not last. In the last six hours, it's concentrated in northern Scotland and eastern England, from Tyneside down to Suffolk. But more recently, it has been getting lighter and lighter and disappearing. It left us, as roughly speaking, about dawn, four centimetres in Aberdeen, a bit more in Yorkshire, more typically, and of course, as you may well know, many major roads were blocked, and that includes, I think, the A47, because of a jackknife. Now, more recently than that, the showers are now all offshore. They're still hitting Norfolk, and they're still just about clipping Suffolk, and it's not quite the end of the snow. Uh, there'll be more snow, I think, tonight, and with low temperatures, of course, ice on the roads, and what's already there will turn to slush, then turn crunchy, then turn to slush again. But tonight brings back maybe more substantial snow. If you're on the move tonight, for example, you will notice it. More than a second. The afternoon temperatures clearly are not very high. It'll stay freezing where the snow on the ground. It'll become a little bit higher for many, but substantially higher, and not just today, but also tonight in the west of Scotland, in Northern Ireland, increasingly in the west of England and Wales, because we are losing our northerly wind, which at the moment is a cold one, and we're picking up a westerly. And once we've got that, and this is the forecast for the next three days, we more or less keep it. There are the hopes of a white Christmas dashed, I'm afraid. But tonight, more snow for Highland Scotland, and also the southern uplands, probably the Pennines. And because the ground is so cold, you might come across sleet or something, even in eastern England, right up until dawn, and possibly even in the southeast. A lot of hill fog comes in, but eventually it all turns to rain. Disappointing. Tomorrow's a bit of a write-off. It'll still feel cold. It's likely to be wet, plenty of hill fog. It might brighten up in the end of the day in the west, and Northern Ireland in particular, but western Scotland, Wales and England. The hill fog's still there, though. The difference between... Tuesday and Wednesday is we lose the rain, but we should also see a rise in temperatures, quite a substantial rise in temperatures. This is what brings Tuesday's weather, and that's the thing to note. You're probably aware, in our, in our um, hemisphere, around an anticyclone, the wind goes in this direction. So it's doing this, coming into the west. It'll be doing the same on Christmas Eve. It'll be doing the same on Christmas Day, but with a front or two in the flow. So it won't be bone dry, but it will be mild for many cloudy. The rain most likely on Christmas Eve in Scotland and Northern Ireland, maybe a bit further south on Christmas Day. No snow. Anna. Thanks.